because the virus is both deadly and easily spread. Bird fanciers and breeders are recommended to have in-depth knowledge of the polioma virus and French malt, including its signs and symptoms, potential causes, and any steps to minimize the risk of outbreak, breeding, as well as the showing, buying and selling of birds can be precarious if the breeder or fancier is not aware of diseases such as French molt. The best way to avoid French molt from infecting your bird or aviary is by taking some preventive measures, including quarantining new birds, maintaining a sanitary environment and providing proper nutrition. A vaccine is also available for adult birds, but, of course, this does not assist birds already diseased, primarily observed in in very young budrigars, commonly called budgies or parakeets, and parrots. Polyomavirus is typically noticed initially due to the condition of the young bird's feathers. Chicks with the virus are usually born appearing quite normal, but between weeks 6 to 8, irregularities in the feathers begin to become observable. Soon after weaning, infected chicks will begin to lose plumage, or else fail to develop feathers at all. Unfortunately, most birds infected with avian polyomavirus will never be able to fly due to the loss, or abnormalities, to their wing and tail feathers. Some birds, however, will regrow healthy appearing feathers, but should still not be selected for breeding. Symptoms of poliomavirus, French molt, in birds feather loss, lethargy, diarrhea, loss of appetite, tremor, bruising, reddened skin, small sores, swollen belly, sudden death. Causes of poliomavirus, French molt, in birds stress, including poor nutrition while breeding, overbreeding, insects, and a mite infestation are factors that could precipitate the condition. Bird-to-bird -bird transmission, parental feeding or egg transmission, can spread the virus, and it may also be attributable to environmental conditions, including a lack of hygiene in the aviary. Feather dust and bird droppings may be culprits, particularly, the ingestion or respiration of contaminated waste in food and water. The introduction of a new bird is always a risk buying. Selling and showing must be taken very seriously due to the highly contagious nature of French molt. The disease is easily spreadable from aviary to aviary. There is no treatment for poliomavirus in budgies. Some veterinarians believe in treating a clearly infected bird with an antiviral such as acyclovir or AZT. While these are used to treat other viruses both may be helpful in cases of French molt. Make sure that the ill bird is segregated from other birds. Affected birds can be given special nutritional supplements and silica, per veterinary advice. Prevention is your best course of action. It is imperative for the health of your aviary or bird to keep the living environment disinfected. Your veterinarian can recommend a safe commercial-grade disinfectant. Thoroughly clean all utensils, wear gloves, and wash your hands between handling your bird. Insect control is imperative. In the meantime, to prevent the spread of infection within your aviary, it is essential to vaccinate the adults. Please follow up with your veterinarian about this vaccine, as well as a yearly booster.